My name is Michelle Maud. I am a licensed aircraft maintenance engineer. I meet and greet the aircraft. We service the aircraft. We check for defects. A typical working day, first of all, it would start with us being allocated an aircraft. We would then go down to the bay that that aircraft is going to arrive. You'd make sure that the bay was set up, chocks are in place, the aero bridge is in the correct position, and once the aircraft arrives, we chock the aircraft. The captain will then tell us the condition of the aircraft, whether there's incoming defects or whether there's nil defects. We then give the thumbs up. Now the thumbs up is to say to all other personnel that you're, it's clear to approach the aircraft. Once we've done that, we'll then connect the tow bar and start our pre-flight. And our pre-flight check normally starts from the nose, and then we continue around the aircraft to make sure that the aircraft hasn't suffered any damage, in particular bird strikes. Then we'll make sure that all the access panels, or wheels, tyres and brakes are serviceable. There's no damage on the fuselage. We have a pre-organised fuel quantity. We make sure that that fuel quantity is uplifted to the aircraft. We certify for the aircraft in the technical log. The technical log is then handed upstairs to the crew. Then we start our pushback. Once the engines are started and we're out on the taxiway, the tug drives away, we remove the steering bypass pin and then we give them the thumbs up and they wave to us and we depart the aircraft. Being on the line is high pressure. You have limited time to do your turnarounds. You need to be able to diagnose a problem and problem solve quickly and efficiently so that the aircraft can depart on time. This is my 12th year as a licensed aircraft engineer. I did four years as an apprentice and then was lucky enough to come out here online. Uh, then I obtained my licence on a 737. My dad's actually a mechanic as well, so I think I got some training from him. Uh, it's a natural progression to try to get as many aircraft licences as you can. We have a constant contact with the technical crew. We also um, deal with um, flight attendants, uh, ground staff. What I love about being an engineer is it's constantly changing. Not many people get to have a look and fix aircraft up close. Uh, just the general wow factor, the fact that you are dealing with um, huge aircraft that uh, cars are dwarfed against. Being outdoors, I love being outdoors. The people that I work with are great, they're highly professional, love doing what they're doing, love a joke. Anyone interested in an aviation career, give it a go. You're dealing with technology, you're meeting new people. It's a great way to see the world, it's tops. <laughs>